a donor heart is the greatest desire of hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. And millions are suffering from heart disease and are not on the waiting lists. And yet only 3,500 hearts are transplanted worldwide every year. Heart diseases remain one of the most common causes of death. Millions will die prematurely every year. On December 3, 1967, the first heart was transplanted in Cape Town, South Africa. Some call this the moon landing of surgery. The patient only survived for 18 days, but today patients can live with the donor's heart for several decades. One even climbed the highest mountains and managed the New York Marathon. In 1982, the first artificial heart was implanted in Salt Lake City. Even with an artificial heart, patients today can live for more than 10 years. Then, there were many years of stagnation in research. Neither the artificial hearts nor the transplanted hearts were without side effects, such as frequent cancers due to the necessary suppression of the immune system to prevent the donor heart from being rejected. In 1983, the first 3D printer was built in the USA. And in 1988, the first one was available for purchase. Today, you can find them in children's bedrooms. The more than 20 methods of additive manufacturing are getting better, finer, and faster. Since 2000, so-called bioprinters, which is organic 3D printers, have been in development. The big vision here is to produce replacement tissue, replacement body parts, and replacement organs for humans. Initial successes have been achieved, for example, with skin, replacement ears, and even artificial ovaries, but only for mice so far. Several research teams around the world, including Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh and Tel Aviv University, have succeeded in printing a complete heart made entirely of human tissue, with everything, cell tissue, blood vessels, and ventricles. These are not half-baked Silicon Valley visions, but very serious peer-reviewed research results which were published in the renowned magazine Science. The resolution in which organ parts can be printed is of decisive importance here. Organ frameworks and collagen fibers can be printed in a thickness of just 25 micrometers. In this way, even the finest branches of vessels can be produced. Not plastics are printed, but real human cells and human collagen, fibrin, and hyaluronic acid. The same goes for the extracellular matrix, which holds everything together and forms the basis for all organ structures, which was a particular challenge to print. With a magnetic resonance imager, the individual heart structure of a person can be depicted and exactly reproduced. To make sure that the heart is not rejected by the immune system, fat tissue cells are taken from the patient, reprogrammed into pluripotent stem cells, and then used for the production of the heart. The resulting tissue then fully corresponds to the immunological, cellular, biochemical and anatomical properties of the recipient. Although the heart from Tel Aviv is only as big as the heart of a rabbit, and in Pittsburgh it is only initially parts of a heart, the path to a 3D printed replacement heart for humans is clearly marked out, even if it will take a few more years. But replacing parts of the human heart, such as replacing dead tissue with cardiac patches after a heart attack, is already possible, at least in the lab. And the fantastic thing is that the printed muscle cells contract and stretch like the real thing. They can actually pump, but not yet fully coordinated. The procedure they use in Pittsburgh, they call it FRESH, Freeform Reversible Embedding of Suspended Hydrogels. This procedure, the researchers say, is like a production platform for many other types of natural tissues and organs. It will take a few more years before all this really becomes a matter of course. But there is little doubt that in the not too distant future, we will be able to alleviate, safe and significantly prolong the lives of millions of people with these new methods and solutions. So, if you're asking yourself, what are we going to live on with all those traditional markets disappearing, this is a huge future market. So, please check, is your company able to contribute to that solution? This future market 
This trend in technology and others we also cover at the Leaders Vision Day. Come to this fascinating event, you will find a link here. Have a bright future.